Hello everybody, I usually start off by saying good morning, good day, or it's a good day. Well, it's a day. Not all days are as good as others. They're not all equally good. I guess we can call this a good day. Getting a new computer today, not by choice. So the good part is we're getting a new computer. The bad part is it's not by choice. So I'm having uh, issues with my computer. It's about seven years old, six or seven years old. And it's come to the point where I can't upgrade it any further. It's got some other problems as well, some other issues. All of the USB ports are fried already, all of them, except for the Type-C USB. So I have an adapter where I can plug my regular USB ports into that one. But if that one goes, I have no way of getting files on or off of the computer myself without bringing it in somewhere. So I'm on to my last last legs with this computer. It's, it's old. And now I've updated my editing software, my Adobe Premiere and Media Encoder, uh, Photoshop, everything else that I use, and a bunch of other programs and software that I use alongside this. And this new software needs an updated driver. However, my computer is not compatible with the new drivers or these new updates that I need to install to run my software. They're not compatible with my old laptop anymore. So that combined with all the USB ports being fried already, not know they, they, they need to be fixed. I, I brought them in to get fixed once and they literally told me they couldn't do it. So this, it served me well. It's paid for itself over and over already. It's an old computer, it needs to be replaced. I need to upgrade. You know, in technology terms, having a six year old computer, that's old. It's not like trucks where I believe the older trucks are better than the new trucks. When it comes to computers and technology, the new ones are better. So I'm on my way into Winnipeg right now to get a new laptop so that I can keep editing these videos and getting them out to you because it's it's not letting me edit. It's not letting me render. It says I need a new driver. And then when I go to install the driver, it says your computer isn't compatible with the new driver. So they weaseled me into it and twisted my arm into going in to buy a new one. Uh-oh motorcycle seems to be doing a pretty good speed. I don't know why. He's got his four ways on driving on the shoulder. I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, here we go to spend money we didn't want to spend. Do, 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 do. One of those days again. And you know, these days happen a lot, you know? Life. Life happens. Life does not wait around till you're ready. It you just gotta take it. It throws a punch at you. You gotta, you gotta duck and swing right back, whether you're ready or not. You take a swing right back at it. You wanna try to shut me down, life? I'll show you. I was really hoping we'd be able to do this way down the road in a few years. Nope. Life has other plans. <laughs> life says you're doing it right now. Some other issues I've had with my laptop are uh, that the battery is dead needed to be replaced. I'm hoping that's all it was, but the battery wouldn't hold a charge anymore. So as soon as it got unplugged, it would just shut off. I'm starting to get nervous. I get this way right before I spend a chunk of money. Uh, trying to go through all the options in my head, seeing if this is absolutely necessary or not. Can't think of any. Can't think of any reason not to. I can't really argue with my wife. She told me to go get a computer. Just like if my truck was having problems, I wouldn't keep driving it, I'd get it fixed. Or I'll get a new one. <laughs> it's different in trucking, you can't just go get a new one. <laughs> Technology is different. Technology, you need, you need new stuff constantly, unfortunately. Trucks are more simple to me, you know? Something breaks, you can fix it, there are parts. But with my laptop, like I was saying, they just stop making the parts. They stop making updates for it. They, they do that on purpose, and I understand their business strategy. They do that to force you to get the new stuff, right? So that you're always buying their stuff. It's not a very good business model to design and make a computer that'll last forever. You need to make one where people will have to upgrade and pay to upgrade. I get it. I would probably do the same thing if I was in that CEO's position, but being in this position kind of sucks. I'd rather be in his position. There it is, right over there. Can you see it already? I spy with my little eye, Best Buy. Here we go. 
Oh, it should be just over there. I'm going in here. Best Buy. <sighs> okay. I hope you have lots of computers in stock, man. I want options. I want to see my options. Better have some of that top shelf product in there somewhere. Get out the step ladder. I'm gonna need to get that stuff down for me. Mm. Uh, park right here. This looks safe. Right, right up behind Mits, Mit, Mitster Mitsubishi. I don't know how much I'm prepared to spend. But I guess we're gonna find out. Most people would go in there with a budget. <laughs> that would be smart. That would be smart. Oh, too bad I'm not smart. I took the terrain because it uses less fuel to make myself feel better about spending money. Gonna walk in here like a boss. Oh boy, there's lots in here. I want it all. I want everything. Give me one of everything. Cameras. Oh, nope, we're here for a computer. GoPro accessories. Well, I left without a computer. They didn't have a top shelf here. Apparently that's at the bigger central store in Winnipeg. This one carries the majority of things that you know the everyday person would need. But when you're looking for the top shelf, you need to go to the St. James location, apparently. They can order them in here, but then I gotta wait for them and I wanna go home with it today. So we're going to the other store, Best Buy St. James, which probably about 15 minutes from here. Not settling on this one. Always gotta make everything an adventure. So this is the Transcona uh, outlet of Best Buy. There's, what, two or three in Winnipeg or something? And the main one is in the center of the city in St. James, like I was saying. And uh, that's where they keep the majority of their stock. I mean, I don't know if it was possible to buy it here and then go pick it up there. I feel bad, because the guys here gave me a lot of help. I sort of wanted, I don't know if they go on commission or not at Best Buy. I don't think they do at Best Buy, but if they do, I wanted the commission to go to the guys who helped me the most, right? Oh shoot, I can't even turn left here. Okay, you turn. Truck -a Supposed to be a trucker, truck -a I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. Just because I'm a professional driver doesn't mean I know where I'm going. Parking lots. I hate parking lots. But honestly, the guys here, they there's about three or four guys helping me because I had specific questions of what I needed. And uh, they went and got all the experts here, which they were very helpful. I was very thankful for that. But it uh, turns out the laptops that I need aren't here. So I'm just like, hey, if, if the laptops aren't here, I'm sorry, but I've got to bail. I've got to get out of here and go pick it up. And they said, oh, we can order it to you and like have it delivered. I need it today, I'm sorry. I need it today. I need it right now. Right now. People are crazy, man. Everyone's in a hurry. Me too. Well, yeah, it looks like they're pretty much done that new high rise. It's the one on the left, the taller one on the left there. I don't know if it's a condo building. It looks like condos because they got balconies, right? The newest addition of the Winnipeg skyline. I'd love to go inside and see what it actually looks like in there. I wonder how much it costs to build a building like that. You know, we're uh, looking at a building our house, right? And we're looking at the costs of building our house and a shop on our land and a garage and stuff. And we're like, woo, all right, things cost money. Can you imagine building that? Like that's what, a 40, 30, 40 story building? 
It's not the tallest in the world, not by far, but for Winnipeg, it's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty tall. I wonder how much money you'd have to have to build that. And how much money would you make off it? Like, if they're all condos and you sell every condo, how much money are you, like, how much profit's in there? It's got to be a lot. I mean, a lot of money in real estate. The only problem is, in order to make a lot of money, you have to have a lot of money to start. It takes a lot of money to make a lot of money. See, there it is, right there. That one on the left there. New building. I wonder what the condos are being sold for in there. I got so many questions. Because everything is crazy right now, right? I bet you it costs several hundred thousand dollars. Oh, I bet. Anything. Or if they're renting it, I bet your rent is like $5,000 a month. I'm just like spitballing here, just throwing something out there and see. Does anybody know? Maybe I should Google it and see what they're selling for. I don't think the interior is done yet, but you know, maybe I should call in, act like a prospective uh, condo buyer. Oh, this is Josh. Yes, I have. I have a, a swimming pool filled with money that I don't know what to do with. Uh, can you help me? How, how much for one of your fancy condos downtown Winnipeg? Yes, I've got money. Why are you talking to me like that? Hello? They'd probably just hang up on me. are over. I was just going to say I've never had that many green lights in a row in Winnipeg. Wow. We almost made it all the way through downtown. Okay. Same store. Same city. Different location. I hear they have the top shelf stuff. Let's go find out. Get out your step ladders. Hope they got some tall employees reach those top shelves for me oh this this store is much bigger much bigger we want to go to the back here let's see what they got looking for the asus section this is a sir looking for asus ah we're here there we go ta-da so we went with, uh, we went to the top shelf, went all the way up to the top and one down, like I usually do. Uh, this is an, another Asus laptop. I'll maybe do an unboxing video at home. It's called the ROG Strix, or the ROG Strix. I don't know how you pronounce it. It is uh, second only to the, the number one. And they assured me that this will do everything I needed to do and more. Good news is I spent less than I thought I would because I was shooting for the top shelf, but uh, I like to rein myself back just a little bit usually. I like to go for the best of the best, but uh, one step down is always okay too. The best of this, this one was uh, about $1,000, more than $1,000, $1,500 cheaper than the, the top, top shelf one. This one was still on the top shelf. It was just, it's just underneath the top one, $1,500 cheaper. So this way, this one will do everything I need it to do because I'm not a big gamer. I don't need to play Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite, but this will handle Fortnite no problem. They assured me. I was like, that's great information to know. I hate Fortnite. There, I said it. I shouldn't say that. I don't know anything about Fortnite. I don't hate Fortnite. Okay, Fortnite guys, forgive me. Forgive me. I don't hate Fortnite, but if I wanted to play it, I can play it no problem now. Uh, but it will do everything I need it to do. It has all the latest drivers installed in it already. It'll do all my editing for me. Uh, it is another Asus gaming laptop. I, I like that just because they have uh, more technology in there to keep it cool. They're built to work hard. And when I'm rendering videos, 
uh, the computer does work really hard. So anyways, let's go home and I'll show you it once I get there. There it is. Oh, I'm going to knock at the door. Who goes there? You guys want to come in, see my computer? Got a new computer. Let's check it out. I cut off all the seals already, so. Ooh. Ooh. A big moment. Can you see this? So this here's the old laptop. I'm trying to get it to work to render my videos. I've been trying all day, but it's not gonna work because I've this is like the sixth time I'm trying. It doesn't have the right drivers. But this computer will still be good for uh, like tasks here at home once we get it all cleaned up and dusted off. Here's the new one. Another Asus. I really like this Asus, so it's done very well with me. So I went and got another one. And get this plastic off of it here. Here's the first time that I'm opening it. So if we do this with one hand, I don't really want... Oh, 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 it's got a little protection on there. Very nice, very nice. You can go over there and cover up all that dirt and dust. Okay, so I went with a 17.3 inch screen. Or is it a 17 and a half? And you can tell it's already quite a bit thinner than this one that I've got here. Very thin. That's another computer underneath there. It's the backup. This is now the backup, and that's the backup for the backup, and this is the primary computer. It's a... The one thing I like better about that computer already is that all of these outlets, like for the internet, the wired internet, the HDMI cable, everything else, this, this is the only USB that worked, remember that? So I had everything plugged in through here. All of these USB ports didn't work anymore. But instead of having all of these on the side, it has a few USBs on the side here. But the main ones are all here on the back. The internet, the HDMI, everything's at the back of the computer and out of the way of my, my dealings. You're just gonna have to excuse the mess. Uh, today was my day to clean everything up in here and alas, I had to go and run into the city for an emergency laptop purchase. Yay. You see this? It paused itself already. I didn't pause you. It does weird stuff like this now. See, I'll tell it to continue. <sighs> it's old. It's old. It's time for an upgrade. Let's get this whole area cleaned up. This is driving me nuts. It's got a multicolored keyboard that changes color. A little underglow here. That's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, this is my... A new Asus laptop. It's got the Ryzen 5000 Series 7, or the Ryzen 7 5000 Series, however you want to say that. And a GE Force RTX graphics card. And it's nothing too crazy. It actually doesn't have as much storage as my old one here. This old one had uh, 1 1.2 terabytes of storage in there. This only has 512, gig 512 gigabytes, uh, which is a little disappointing. Uh, they did tell me that when I was there, but I didn't realize how much space I use up with all of my footage and my vlogs. But that's fine. Like I said, I have an external hard drive that I put all of my stuff onto anyways. I just have to be a little bit more diligent at getting it off of the computer and putting it onto the external hard drive. And we can do that. This is way faster. Uh, here's all my, like, my clips from today. And I can play them at full. Apparently that's at the bigger central store in Winnipeg. See? This one carries and there's the no, that, you know, the no skipping would need. or but no lagging. For the top shelf, you need to go to the St. James location apparently. And that was at full quality uh, at the, in the preview. On my old computer, full quality would not be able to uh, play like that. It wouldn't be smooth. It is a lot faster and I like it. It's a little bit more compact, a little bit easier to pull around with me. It doesn't have a Wi-Fi camera built in and I like that. This one does. It always makes me nervous having a camera look at me. I usually have a piece of tape over it. Uh, I have an external uh, one right here. Actually, I want to pull that out because I want to take it with me on the road just in case we want to do some live streaming. Uh, where is it here? 
Oh, here it is. I don't want to show you my drawer. It's a bit, a bit of chaos. All right, this is my Wi-Fi. It's a Razer. It's got the light, ring light built right into it. And it just hooks right in there. And there you go. That should work fine. Uh, I believe it hooks on there like... Let's see if I can figure this out with you guys here. I believe it goes on like... No, it couldn't go on like that. That wouldn't... That wouldn't be right. Oh, like, like this. There you go. There. And it's not touching the screen, not touching the screen. Good. So then it just uh, sits there like that, top of the screen while I'm live streaming. Or I can put it on its own stand wherever I want. And we'll see how that works. I'll give that a test another day. I'm tired. I need to get to bed. I need to be up early tomorrow. Uh, we got to go and pick up a load in Winkler and head back to Langbank, Saskatchewan. Uh, there comes the yawns already. And I got to get all my stuff ready to go. I got my bag behind me here. I'm packing it up for the week. It's going to be good. Time. It was a fun day today. Uh, spending money you didn't really want to spend. But I did spend less than I thought I would. Um, uh, hopefully, I, I didn't go too low. I wanted the top shelf, but it's quite a bit more expensive. I think I'll be happy with this. It'll serve my purpose well. Judging by my system information on the computer here, uh, I can sort of tell you what the computer is. It will serve my purpose. <laughs> it's an Asus Tech computer. Uh, the system model is the ROG Strix. Uh, system type is an X64 based PC. It's got a, for the processor, it's got an AMD Ryzen 7. 5800H with Radeon graphics, um, 3201MHZ, is that megahertz? Uh, 8 cores and 16 logical processor. I hope this means something to some of you because it means nothing to me. Just, I go clicky click and it goes and it makes videos. That's all I know. Uh, what else can I say? It's got yeah 512 gigs of storage on the the drive itself. I'm guessing it's probably made in China. Uh, what else would you like to know about it? <laughs> That's, it's got Microsoft Windows 10 on it right now, but apparently I can upgrade to Windows 11 uh, right away. And so far, I mean, it's it's been working well for me. I'm sorry I can't really... I sort of sound ignorant when I talk about computers because because I am I, and, I, and I can admit that I don't know a lot about uh, how they work but I like using them they serve a good purpose it's just if it breaks I'm lost <laughs> thanks for watching today everybody I really appreciate it uh, tomorrow we're back on the road I'm actually uh, picking up a load together with my father-in-law it's his first trip at Keystone and uh, I'm going out with him. We're picking up two loads, uh, one for me, one for him in Winkler, and headed out to Langbank together. Uh, that way, if he has any questions, I'm right there. I can explain the e-log to him because uh, he's an old school trucker as well. He doesn't uh, know the whole e-log system that well. I mean, he, he just got out of training, so he knows he knows how it works. But if there's any problems, I'll be right there. I can help him out. And, uh, you know, just to get the ball rolling get them used to everything, make sure that everything goes good, and uh, I can show them how to, uh, you know, how we collect the paperwork, how we send it in after we're done delivering it, stuff like that. It'll be a lot of fun. So I gotta be up early and meet them at work at like 6 a.m. It's time to go to bed. I'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It's been a weird day. <laughs>